Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Stories Report. I'm with you as always, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan. Okay, so I decided to make this video because, simply put, there are some things which uh, need to be brought up and, and discussed. Now, we have a lot of people who, for whatever reason, are extremely pro-nuclear. Right, and they give a lot of reasons for that. And I'm okay with that because I believe everyone, regardless of which side you're on, deserve the right to express yourself and let yourself be known. How you feel about it and the facts and information you want to bring to the table. But what I've noticed is recently is um, people citing the UN reports on Fukushima. All right, so this is something we would like to talk about a little bit here. Okay. Now a lot of those reports are focusing on short-term effects of radiation. Now, you've seen the video that's been around the net where it came out a while ago where Yukio Idano, the current um, minister of METI, which is in effect the Ministry of Industry in Japan, was sweating bullets and having to bob and weave his way around what he said when he was given all those press conferences in the days and weeks following the, the triple at least triple nuclear meltdown in Japan where he said short-term effects is what I was referring to when I said there's no real danger of the radiation being released and he said you know long term there are danger to it and that's you know him backtracking a bit in this type of thing but let's refocus on these UN reports that's the pro-nuclear people keep citing it and it it all comes down to what they're looking at is short-term effects they are saying within two to five years you have nothing to worry about and the radiation release that you were exposed to is not going to affect you I've read those reports okay do not think I have not and do not think I'm not well versed in it a lot of times what I do is let people have their say and instead of going after them I say look here just wait you're looking at information you don't know who you're talking about things like this and then they cite it's been peer-reviewed yeah everything is peer-reviewed but here's the point who's doing the report what universities, universities are they working at? What type of funding have these universities been given? Are these universities which these professors are working at involved in uh, developing nuclear technology? Big question. All right. If that is the case, then we, we have a situation where these professors at the UN delivering these peer-reviewed reports, it becomes biased. Because any university which has professors writing white papers and essays and reports on the effects of radiation in Fukushima, while at the same time getting funding for research in the nuclear technology, they're not going they're not going to do a report on something that talks about serious dangers of nuclear power. It's a money thing, okay? It's a money thing. And if you can't understand that, that money and greed will motivate a scientist to come up with a hypothesis come up with a theory and then seek to support that theory 
then I'm sorry, but you are a bit misinformed on material conditions of the situation. You're looking at only what is said, not the situation surrounding how such opinions are developed. So that's what I ask of you, okay? Tell us what universities these professors are working for. What type of funding do these universities get and who do they who do they get that funding from? And what type of nuclear research these universities which these professors work at are doing? Dig deeper. Look at the material conditions before you throw these reports up in people's faces. That's an extremely good point. I want to challenge all of you. All right? All of you who say that radiation from Fukushima is not a problem, not an issue, nothing to worry about. See these human reports by these professors have been peer-reviewed. All right? Present us with the information I'm requesting you to present. Now in a future video, I will show you the information that I'm asking you to provide. The material conditions is what I'm asking you of, okay? Show us that, all right? Show us that. And then, I think you would have a much more engaging conversation with many people. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. Again, thank you as always at subscribing. And remember, never, ever give up the fight.